This is the Glen L. Martin Wind Tunnel at the University of Maryland. It has been testing the durability of infrastructure, automobiles, aircrafts, bobsleds, and people, just to name a few, for 70 years. This is the test section, so basically to this disk is where we'd mount whatever we happen to be testing. So airflow in here is going to be coming in this direction. It's going to be coming towards us. And it sure did. I got a chance to gear up, strap in, and see how much wind I could handle. We started with winds up to 58 miles per hour, the point at which a thunderstorm is considered severe. Then we cranked it up to 74 miles per hour, category one hurricane force winds. I was still feeling good and honestly having way too much fun. So up to category two, we went winds up to 96 miles per hour. Did I mention how much fun I was having? So I said thumbs up to category three, over 111 miles per hour. I tapped out at 115, the highest wind the crew at Maryland would let me go up to. But I bet I could have gone higher. The wind tunnel isn't just for testing at which speed people's faces start to flap in the wind. The University of Maryland engineering staff and students test hundreds of devices and different types of infrastructure to see how they withstand wind. The actual unsteady forces that exist in hurricane category four, three, four, five winds um, are really not reproducible. It's really necessary to expose them to actual wind loads to determine whether or not they will survive. 